this is one of the most amazing finds, namely a kind of treasure discovered by one family member in his grandmother's room. It all started with the fact that the man who wished simply cleaned the house of relatives who had long left their native nest. And suddenly he stumbled upon a door that for some reason had never been noticed before. Opening it and going inside the room, he found a mountain of different boxes that were covered with a thick layer of dust. It turned out that these boxes belonged to the deceased grandmother of this man. As it turned out, his grandmother opened a shoe store about 70 years ago, in the 40s of the last century. The store existed for about 20 years but it had to be closed since my grandmother got sick. And as a result, the shoe business was abandoned because nobody cared about it. As a result, the room of the grandmother, which previously was both a warehouse and a store, remained closed for about 50 years until she was discovered by the aforementioned man. I must say that the shoes found by the man turned out to be quite high quality and partially similar to modern models. However, of course, such pairs of shoes that in the 21st century already look old-fashioned and even tasteless have been preserved. It is noteworthy that the boxes are decorated with a beautiful font, and the shoes themselves are perfectly preserved, except that a lot of dust settled on them. The rubber sole also suffered a bit. She became fragile, dry. The remaining pairs of shoes can be wiped off from dust and worn even now. It is also worth noting that the find of an anonymous man has historical significance. For example, from photographs it can be understood that the famous world company Converse previously produced not only sneakers and sneakers but also leather shoes and low shoes. Hundreds of pairs of various boots, low shoes, boots and moccasins were preserved at the grandmother's warehouse. For both men and women, the warehouse even preserved the bench on which, apparently, the grandmother's clients never tried on shoes. It is still unknown how a man is going to do with the rare footwear found. Perhaps he will open a kind of museum in place of the warehouse room. Or maybe he will just sell antique shoes to collectors for a lot of money. Anyway, it's not so important. All that matters is that this find is simply unbelievable and uniquely unique.